how good that this pool is. Now with Qatar, what we're trying to do is actually get him to swim across multiple times. Now the reason for that is he's been kind of limping on one of his front legs. And we think that swimming across would be a great, um, a great exercise for him. Because that's actually how Tiger Splash started. Was there a tiger that had a knee problem? And the vet prescribed water work. So basically, swim them, make them jump in water, make them work in water with the resistance. So we're hoping. So we're hoping that uh, swimming them back and forth will make that leg feel better for him. You know, he lives with two other tigers, so they're always playing. They're always running and jumping and tackling each other. So it could be anything that could have made him a little, a little injured. The tigers are so tough. I mean, they do really, really well. So we're just doing what we can to keep him excited and to keep him getting his exercise in. So swimming across, getting in the water is really what we want him to do. And he does like the water, but it looks like he kind of wants to cheat, which means he knows Caitlin's going to swim. He doesn't want to swim. So what he's going to do is jump out and probably go all the way around to the other shallow. He's just being smarter than us. He's like, I don't know if I want to swim today, guys. There you go. So this pool is only about four and a half feet deep. So he can stand on that ground and just kind of float. So it's not like he's forced to swim or anything like that. Um, he can just stand up and do whatever he wants. Um, so now he's made it to the other end, which is another beach entrance. So he can walk in and out super easily. Um, but swimming across is exactly what we want to see him do. It's that exact um, exercise that we want him to do be, to help that leg kind of feel better. Which you can see that he is, you know, he's jumping, he's running. Get it! Come on, Qatar! Oh, oh, he's thinking about it. Qatar does. Uh, when he goes in the water, it's very unique. Let's see if Brian can make him do it here. He wants the toy, but he also sees that there's another toy easier to get there. So he's just a little distracted. So we'll see if he can go around. There we go. Good boy, Qatar. So he sees two toys, and he's just trying to decide which toy he wants. Now. I told you we do not train for this, and I meant that. We do not train our cats for this. They're using all those instincts. So by that, I mean they are hunting, quote unquote, these toys. They're chasing, they're biting, they're holding, they're ripping apart. They're using all those natural instincts. But he does not, um, he does not eat these toys. He knows the difference between food and toys. Um, but he, yay, good boy! <laughs> But he does use those same instincts when the toy is running away from him or acting vulnerable, um, especially when the people create like noise and movement. It's just kind of, it looks like prey that's struggling. So that's exactly what he's doing, is he's hunting these toys. Are those pigs? Oh, he likes them. So we use all kinds of different toys for our cats. They all like different things. Um, these are jeans. All right, that was pretty cool, Brian, but I think I can do a lot better. <laughs> so, Qatar won, human zero. Um, Qatar caught that toy, which is fine. You know, we don't need him to do anything specific. We're bringing him down here to have fun. It's just enrichment. You know, none of our tigers are going back to the wild. Um, so we just need to make sure they have the best, best life here that they can. Oh, you want, oh no! Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Kaylin was trying to get him to go in deep side. We have cats that kind of do differently in the show. We have some that jump off into the deep. We have some that don't uh, do that because they just don't trust the water as much. But tigers in general are very water motivated cats. They love water. Um, so they love the water in the sense that they're playing. In the wild they use the water. You know, if they kill something they'll bring it to the water or they'll go fishing. Um, so they really do love the water, unlike a lot of other cats. Lions hate water. Oh, do you want this double gooey, buddy? All right, so we'll see if Qatar wants to jump for this one. He's thinking about it. Yay! Good boy! Now, sometimes some of the cats, we have to give food to 
get these toys back. Now, since Qatar here is still a little younger, he still thinks the next toy is better. So it's easier to trade. He's starting to get smarter, though. We have to trade him sometimes for his favorite toys. But we just give him small pieces of beef or chicken, nothing substantial. Um, it really is just a small little snack at the trade. It's not a, a training thing where it's like, hey, good job jumping. It's literally like, please give me this toy back. <laughs> um, we can't really move on in the show unless he gives the toy back. So it really is up to the tiger. How the hell how the show goes. Ooh. That's fun. Let's find out, Mina. <laughs> so with these toys, we just try all kinds of different things. These are cool toys. They got a palm tree with a duck attached to it. I don't know. We try all kinds of different things just to keep it exciting. And like I said, we have cats that like different toys. He really likes the boobies. Um, we have cats that like shoes. We have cats that like the pool toys, like the seals and stuff. <laughs> so right now, Qatar is being a little unfocused, which just means he's looking at the toy and then he's looking at the person. And he's just trying to figure out what he wants. Now, the reason he would look at the person is not to hurt them. He doesn't want to hurt Brittany. He just thinks sometimes getting the toy, you can get it quicker if you stare at the human. <laughs> so if you stare at the human, we give them the toy, and they catch on to that pretty quick. So trying to keep their attention is kind of what Brittany's trying to do now, creating movement and excitement. Oh, boy. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Qatar. Oh, you guys might see his big jump. Here it is, here it is! Yay! Go boy, Qatar! You guys see that? He got like this much here. Now, Qatar here does seal jumps, we like to call them. He just kind of slides into the pool. Um, in the shallows, you guys saw how he jumps, but in the deep, he's never been a jumper. He just doesn't trust the water. So he does little seal slides, and that's how he gets into the deep side, which is just adorable. Uh, but he's chewing up a giant stuffed animal right now that we filled with balloons. So just to make it look big and, you know, impressive again, because the first time we gave that to a tiger, they ripped it apart, stuffing went everywhere. It was crazy. Um, so filling it with balloons causes it to pop and get smaller. Because you want these toys to get smaller or he'll never give it up for the next toy. It's always about upping the, um, basically upping what he's getting. Oh. Decisions. Do you see him thinking? He's like, dinosaur ribbon. Dinosaur ribbon. So this toy is basically a house cat toy, but made for a 400 pound cat. There we go. Go boy, go boy. So right now, um, he's just chasing that. Oh, good job. Go boy. Yeah, good job, Qatar. Love the clapping. Thank you, guys. He's putting a lot of effort into this. <laughs> All right, so he sees the next toy. Now we'll see if he's 